how I made today's Tuesday. Welcome to Euro Pocket News. Today's special edition looks at flat prices in Europe. So let's go. Nowadays, it's almost impossible for a young person to buy their own house or flat. And it's becoming a bit of a worry, especially in the UK and Ireland. But what's the situation like in France? Our Euro Pocketers, Pablo in London and Esther in Paris, went to the street to find out. Young people across Europe can often be heard saying that rent is very expensive, that they'll never be able to afford a house. And those who do manage to scrape together some money and do manage to get a mortgage from a bank are often forced to live in areas far from their friends and family. Here in London, rent is notoriously high. It averages between £400 and £600 per month. The average price paid by a homeowner last year was £250,000 sterling on an average salary of £35,000. Now let's face it, young people don't earn at £35,000. So let's see what students of London think about this. Hiya, are you renting or are you a homeowner? I am renting. And did you find it very expensive? In London it is extremely expensive. I'm paying about £500 a month. Right, and would you rather buy a house or are you just happy renting at the moment? I'd rather buy a house, but um, putting money together for a deposit is the one uh, thing that I can't seem to manage to do. <laughs> okay. It's the main obstacle, I think, for most young people buying, especially in places like London. So guys, are we complaining for the sake of complaining about rent and housing? No, not at all. I'm looking for a house at the moment um, to sort of find and it's just absolutely extortionate, some of them. I mean, it's all right, but... You know, I've got some friends who are paying about £60 a week. I'm expected to pay about 110 And the chance of ever buying a house? No. So do you think we're complaining for the sake of complaining or do you think rent is very expensive here in London? Oh, yeah, I agree with you. The rent is very expensive, especially for students. OK. And do you think you'll ever be able to buy? Oh, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think that we're complaining for the sake of complaining about rent in London? Not at all. The rent is outrageously expensive. Um, for me, it was really difficult to afford, although I am from a quite upper-class family in Germany. Um, especially for students, I think it's horrible that there are no fundings, no financial support, especially living here year abroad, it's insane. I'm spending the double amount what a student in Germany would pay, and it's not fair. And London is a student city and should really think about fundings and ways to support students more that way. Okay, over to you, Esther. Let's see what they say in Paris. The situation in Paris is also difficult. Uh, young people uh, have to share the apartments and foreigners have lots of problems to rent. Let's listen to them. Un jeune qui veut partager ses parents, essentiellement, bah, il a la possibilité soit effectivement de la colocation, euh, quand on veut habiter sur Paris, euh, c'est peut-être la meilleure solution, parce que s'il n'y a pas de gros revenus, euh, ça reste la meilleure solution. Maintenant, comme je te le disais tout à l'heure, euh, les... Euh, Euh, les, les jeunes ne sont plus trop attirés par la colocation parce que euh, alors, te dire exactement pourquoi ils sont plus attirés je ne pourrais pas je sais qu'on a de plus en plus de jeunes qui viennent nous voir recherchent euh, des studios euh, pour habiter seuls là où il y a peut-être deux ans en arrière on avait beaucoup de, de jeunes qui venaient qui cherchaient des trois à quatre pièces de façon à, à, à emménager à trois ou quatre personnes les prix au mètre carré de la location sur Paris tournent entre 23 et 25 euros Euh, en banlieue, on est entre 16 et 20, 20 euros pour les meilleurs banlieues. Mmh. Par rapport à l'achat, c'est un peu à peu près pareil, euh, sauf que euh, la différence, la différence est peut-être plus marquée euh, dans le sens où habiter sur Paris, ça reste une valeur sûre. Euh, on sait que l'immobilier sur Paris, euh, même s'il y a une baisse du marché, restera toujours plus élevé qu'en banlieue. Euh, À savoir qu'en plus la tendance pour 2007 n'est pas, euh, à mon avis, une tendance à la baisse. On a, euh, on a l'impression, on a l'impression que ça, ça monte moins vite, mais ça continue à, à grimper les prix. Mm -hmm. euh, Peut-être un peu moins, franchement, sur la location. Mais effectivement, j'ai entendu dire que depuis début 2007, euh, les loyers étaient, euh, avaient stagné. Bueno, yo vine a finales de agosto y después de visitar muchísimos pisos eh, encontré el que finalmente fue mi piso. La única pega es que no había contrato y bueno, me prometieron muchas cosas, pero como no había ningún contrato, pues al final he tenido que tragarme de todo lo que me han dado y me he quedado sin internet, sin hornos, sin microondas y sin un montón de condiciones y eso sí, pagando 550 euros al mes. ¿Tú crees que se aprovecharon un poco de tu situación de ser joven sobre todo? Sí, completamente. Ser joven, de ser extranjera, 
de no haber tenido ninguna experiencia antes a la hora de alquilar un piso? Bueno, muy difícil, en mi caso, más siendo latinoamericana, argent bueno, yo soy, soy argentina, y fue bastante difícil, sobre todo comparándome con, con mis amigos que son de la comunidad europea. El problema era que pedía muchos, muchos papeles, muchos trámites burocráticos, muchas garantías parentales, garantías de que no, no es que sea difícil conseguir en sí, pero que demoran tiempo, o sea, de, si te los tienen que mandar por correo, además del tiempo también es dinero. Y bueno, también la cuestión de sentirse uno mal porque se siente en, de alguna manera discriminado. Eh, a su vez, encontré un poco difícil el tema de buscar departamento con alguien que uno no conoce muy bien, o sea, de, de compartir alojamiento con con una persona desconocida. París se caracteriza por ofrecer no muchas comodidades en los departamentos, o sea, en la mayoría de los casos no existen ascensores, uno tiene que subir hasta un sexto piso por escaleras, y bueno, para nosotros que somos jóvenes no es tanto problema, pero sin embargo, o sea, encarece mucho el hecho de que el departamento no tenga ascensores, pero siga, siga costando muy caro. Well, that's all for today on Euro Pocket News. If you're buying a house or flat, I wish you the best of luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.